COVID-19 has shut the world down. Businesses are shutting down, not even opening. And my next guest, God has told him to plant a church in the midst of all this. It's been an interesting uh, process. Yeah. Um, some would say, man, you're crazy. Absolutely. Like, you know, now is not the time for church planning, starting businesses. But when we serve a God as we do, that does all things well, yeah. um, there's never not a right time for that. Any play, any time, when God placed the church planting on your heart, did you get to a place that God, why me? Really? Right. Absolutely, because we know us better than anybody else. Absolutely. We know the real person. I look to people this, <laughs> God knows us and he can keep a good secret. <laughs> a wonderful secret. Absolutely. He knows exactly who we are. At the end of the day, um, only a fool would get in the way of God. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? And so it, he, he understands how God works. He understands who God is. And so if it's God's will, if it's God's plan, I got your back all the way. It's been great. I'm sure there are moments and there are going to be moments where it's like, man, he look over to his left because that's where I sat to the left of him. Okay. He'll look, man, and say, wow, you know, this is my man. I'm, I was his <laughs> motivation, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying, to continue in the work. So I do understand that challenge. No one sometimes like to see, uh, it's just like almost your kids living in the house with you. You're excited to see them go out and be great, right. but you're going to miss their right. presence. Right. 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 You know, calling upstairs, they come down <laughs> here for a second right. or, you know, waiting for them to come home. So, you know, I'm sure it's going to be challenging moments where it's like I miss my son, but I'm sure it's just an even greater moment. The fact that his son is launching out to do a great work for the kingdom of God, because he told me this, I think yesterday we talked, he said, man, your win is my win. Wow. He says, so when you succeed, I succeed. Absolutely. He says, so you go and be great, you know, and I'm, I'm pushing you all the way. So that's, that's so encouraging, man, and motivating for me. My best friend, we talk all the time. Um, one of the things that we always say, your memory should lead to your ministry. Mm -hmm. How has redemption, uh, the Redemption Church name reflect what God has brought you through, what God has done for you? How is that reflecting your life? Some may know my story from um, following me for some time now, but you know, I was a church boy, grew up in the church, knew all I knew was church, but I got outside, of, um, got a little older, had one foot in the church, one foot outside the church, was doing my thing, and uh, still trying to um, stay in the church house. But God said no, carried me through a dark moment in my life, man, where I had no other choice but to look up to Him and uh, just have a moment with Him. And he began to share with me in that hour because I was saying to myself, you know, how can I come back from this? Because at a, at a young age, it was prophesied over my life that I would preach, that I would sing, that I would do great things in the that kingdom. That wasn't even in your mind. And I'm just like, it, it's, it, it was a thought, yeah. but I thought I had time to do what I wanted to do. Gotcha. So you know one of them things where, you know, you feel like you can go do your thing and then right. come back to it. Right, right, right. I, I'll get back to you in a minute, God. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And God said, no, man, you got to start doing what I got to do what you need to do now, because uh, as one of my great friends, Pastor Mills will say all the time, man, time is not long now. Yeah. The days are getting shorter, man. Absolutely. So whatever we're gonna do for God, we gotta do now. So getting back to your question, I know where he's brought me from. Yeah. I haven't always been where I am, the real me. Absolutely. You know, we have a person that we advertise. Yeah. Restoring, man, he redeemed me from my, my wickedness, my wow. evilness, man, and so, I want other people to feel this. I want yeah. other people to know this God wow. that brought me out of the penitentiary. I wow. want people to know this God that brought me out of the club. I want mm. people to know this God that brought me off the street corner. I want people to know this God that brought me out of this whole humongous situation. I wow. want people to know this God, man. So that's my drive, that's my motivation. I want people to experience the God that I know mm. in this time that we have to experience it. Wow, there's nothing impossible for God. Nothing. I don't wow. care how where you are in your life at this very moment. People may not ever forgive you, but God will, and He wants to use you. Wow. You know? And the famous phrase um, that I know I hear all the time if you start a church, I'm coming with you. Right? That's the famous phrase in the black, black church. Yeah. Has any people reached out to you to say, hey, uh, Pastor Yancey, Reverend Yancey, uh, if you start a church on which you. Of course, of course. They have those same people <laughs> reached out to you now since they know that you're starting with them. Some man. is saying, man, yeah. if you do this, man, I'm right there with you. But my dad has always taught me 
Uh, people will root you on until the time comes. Wow. And when it comes, sometimes you're left standing by yourself. So I've been in a space, man, where I'm just like, God, you do it. You know, this is your work. This is your your ministry. I'm just a vessel you chose to use. So however you want to go, that's what I'm willing to do. You order my steps. You order the people yeah. that needs to be a part of this thing, man. And let's just flow how you have us to flow. How did flow. you know that God has said, listen, this is a season. This is a moment that the church needs to be non-denominational. Why is that? Because with certain denominations, you kind of you kind of refrain from certain things. They have a certain way they do things. It's the way, it's the culture of that movement. And so I want to be free to do whatever God wants mm. and not be have restraint because this is not the Baptist way. Right. This is not the Pentecostal way. I want it to be God's way too. Uh, I heard uh, one of my favorite preachers, man, share this analogy about uh, the Sanford and Son piece. Yeah. Man, it was so good. He said that um, he was watching Sanford and Son over and over and over. That's one of his favorite shows. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, through watching the show, he caught this revelation. He found, he said to himself, what is the show about? He said, God was asking him, what is the show about? Yeah. And he says, about a father and a son who collects trash, mm. you know? And so he said, what do you mean, God? He said, it's about a father and son who collects trash. They have a junk business. So if you want to contact us and even partner with us, you can reach us at Place of Redemption Church. That's on Facebook, Place of Redemption Church. On Instagram, Place of Redemption Church. And you can also email us at placeofredemptionchurch at gmail.com. Out to my main man, the one and only Mr. AOS at Spires. He's an awesome and amazing guy. I couldn't have did this without him. Thank you so much, man. I love you with the love of Christ.